For better or worse, I'm one of the, the few individuals who are still involved in HIV who was there from the very first day in the summer of 1981 when we first found out we had these unusual cases of strange pneumonias and cancers in young gay men in the United States. I had thought initially that this might be a transmissible agent, but maybe it was some toxic substance, some drug or what have you that they had ingested. But then when it became clear that such a large number of individuals on both coasts were getting it, we became rather suspicious that we were dealing with an infectious agent. And then Several years as I spent most of my time taking care of and studying AIDS patients. Those were really the darkest years of my life, of my, of my professional career, because you were like swimming in the dark. You had a disease that were killing otherwise healthy young men who were previously healthy before they got ill. We didn't know what the cause of it was, and we were putting Band-Aids on hemorrhages.